the silver crater mine. So there's a can up there on their front porch. You put in two bucks, you head back out of way to the mine. It's about a mile walk to the mine. Cardiff, Bancroft and the way we came. This way to the Beaver Dam, which will be on our left, and then the mine. So there's your Beaver Dam on the left. You know you're on the right track. Stay left, follow the mica. Left goes to the pit, right goes to the adit. So this is the pit. And digging around in here, you find you ran a pyrochlor in the dirt. Sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Check this out, kind of cool. All these little tiny puffballs. What this is, some old mining thing. Just for the mines. Kind of cool. Coming to dig here. No one's going to dig a hole this size unless they're finding something already. So we're just kind of, you know, the, the actual pit is just overgrown with trees. There's all sorts of possible spots. There's kind of a, a little bit of a face, a rock face over there. The path is just behind me. Lots of black apatite, or at least very darkly colored apatite. A few shards of, of uh, titanite. Lots of calcite and mica. Sadly, um, nothing I really would take home and, and so far no uranopyrochlor. So I'm gonna head down to the adit, have a look there. And the adit. This is the adit for the silver crater mine. Um, I guess the crater itself is more or less directly behind it and way above. It always looks so ominous. So we're going to go in and just have a little look here, see what kind of rock we're tapping through. Okay, off we go then. That's kind of cool actually, just everything's sparkling. It's all the mica in the rock. It's almost like you're in some sparkling beach. It's really a dirty mine. Look at this. Actually, I got a better view here with my multiple lights on. We've got mica, look at the calcite. Lots of beautiful calcite here. Um, I'm sure we're going to see some uranopyrochlor. Um, I'll probably take the passage to the right here. Well, I mean, you can see the crystal shape of the mica up in the roof here. Um, you can see all the calcite beginning to run down, almost like cave-like, making little formations. You leave that for a thousand years, you'll have some curtains and some flowstone. Oh, check that out. You can actually see the apatite crystal in cross-section. Look at that. Right there. Cross-section of green apatite in with the mica. So, that goes on to an upper level. That, water passage. Not sure where it heads to. And that, I think that loops back to where we came from. Anyway, have a little look up here. See where we're going. Oh, ow! Sharp rocks. Ooh, look at this. Lovely appetite. Look what I've just found. Beautiful appetite in the mine. This is the place to find some good uh, crystals. Obviously no trip complete without the Urana of Pyrochlor. You can see it there. You see that little face? It's almost like a dodecahedron. So this heap of whatever it is, calcite crushed. Oh, it's got some beautiful appetite. Very green. It's kind of heading up on that slope as well. I think it pinches out up here. Maybe. Yep. It's blocked. It does go on, but it's blocked by the look of it. At a steep angle. May not look it, but it is. So guys, come out of the mine, it's raining, it's pretty grim, late in the afternoon, so I guess I better be heading back, don't get caught out in the who knows where forest, in the middle of the dark. This is my bear beater, it's getting to that time of the afternoon, sunset, raining, drizzling, out in the forest. It's nice though, it's beautiful. Look at this, look at this place, absolutely stunning. 
خوابه.